Hi guys, Kieran McAvoy here, and yes, I have made a ballista. It is finally here, and we are finally, finally ready. I hope we are anyway, because you know it has to make it through this recording first. So uh, let's not let's not speak too soon. Those of you that follow me on Instagram will know that uh, the journey up to this point has been somewhat challenging. There's been some highs. Yes! Come on! Come on! And there's been some lows. Oh! <laughs> oh, that went so far! And now I've broken this again! Oh no! Oh no! But we have prevailed. We certainly have. And I would like to say that it's worth sticking around to the end because. I might be firing it as some stuff that might break and make for some spectacular footage. But uh, I've had to shoot this in chronological order because I would have liked to have shot this segment in post, you know, after I'd done it all, because then I'd know what's coming up. But uh, for continuity's sake, I can't take the chance with this thing because who knows whether it's going to look the same at the end of the whole thing. <laughs> so uh, yeah. I think we should have some fun with it before it inevitably breaks again. Now the original idea for this ballista was to fire water balloons for a classic summer water fight. And it can fire water balloons. They just need to be doubled up and about the size of a golf ball. So, you know, I think we can all imagine how much fun that would be. Yeah, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll be there in a minute. Just, uh, just finishing up, just getting myself ready. <laughs> okay, so after spending hours making these, I'm uh, gonna see how precise this ballista is. Not how accurate it is, how precise it is, because from previous experience, it's been shown that I have absolutely no idea how to aim this thing. I think I missed the target. So I've conveniently placed a target down there that uh, was roughly around where the first projectile landed. And we'll now just see how many times I can hit the same spot. It's a precision test. <laughs> okay, so I fired four water balloons. Two of them ended up down there towards the target. Yes. And the other two ended up, um, well, just here just at the bottom of the ballista. You know, maybe even behind the ballista, really, because they popped on launch. But, uh, you know, 50% success rate. You know, maybe this was a test of how reliable is it to fire water balloons. Now we can say 50% of the time, because I'm going to just stop there on the water balloon front, because uh, I don't really want to make the statistics any worse. Oh. Well, that's new. All right, then we'll just uh, just tuck that away there. Nobody saw that. Very good. Yeah, this, these are all wet now. You know, it makes a horrendous sound when you're cranking it up, so I think I'm just gonna use golf balls instead. So I'm gonna use the yellow one to set the target. So this is where the yellow ball actually landed all the way there. It probably actually hit here, around here first. So the next ball is loaded. Let's try and see how close we can get into the first. Oh. <laughs> That was, that was nowhere near the target. <laughs> that was nowhere near it. Okay, so the first one was a, uh, was a practice ball. And then the second one went absolutely well ahead of it. Like, uh, you won't have even seen it on the camera down there. So uh, I think it's safe to say the target is kind of redundant. Just a little bit redundant. So um, I'm just gonna fire these ones and uh, see how we get on, see how close they are together. Three, two. Oh, no. <laughs> 
bad. Not bad. Okay. Let's just keep going. Let's get these done. All right, so uh, let's see how well we've done. They all looked actually quite close together in the end. Well, some of them did anyway. We, uh, we've already seen this one, this, uh, this yellow one, and the rest of them ended up being reasonably close. We also saw this one earlier. And uh, yeah, I, um, uh, I've been looking around and I can't actually find the other one. From all of the times that I've spent Whenever playing golf, just looking for golf balls. And I haven't got any better. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, I literally just found it. There. Look. Look, there it is. Oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah, so there's one. There's the rest of them up near. You're not going to see it, but they're around. Around there. And there's the last one. So, all in all, not the most precise thing, but in all honesty, I had no idea how much power I was putting into it. So much more power into it sometimes and then sometimes less. I don't know. And, you know, a couple of the ropes broke during the actual test. So this was the reason why I had to do the intro segment at the start and I couldn't promise anything. <laughs> and actually, I think we might have just brushed over something here. You know, it still works. It's still working. <laughs> it's like... That's monumental, like you don't even realize. <laughs> so, you know, it, I can actually do another test. I got through this one and I can do another test. And uh, that's exactly what I'm gonna start setting up now. Alright, so the finale is set up. I was going to fire the ballista from up here, but I think we all know how incredibly unreliable it is to actually hit whatever we want it to try and hit. So, what I'm going to do is just bring it down uh, stupidly close and fire it from there and hopefully hit it. Oh yeah, actually that's a thing. I hadn't really thought about that because actually the house is over there. Right, I might have to fire it. I might have to fire it from behind it up the garden. <laughs> yeah. So the ballista was designed to fire at an angle of 10 degrees, 30 degrees and 45 degrees. But considering that we are shooting it point blank at something, uh, I'm going to need a little help just to raise it off the ground to get the angle right. And uh, here's to hoping that uh, we actually hit that. Like, isn't it, isn't it? Like, I'm actually worried we might miss it. I know it, I know it might seem like we can't miss, but we, we can miss, we can miss. <laughs> mm. Okay, here we go. All right, three, two, one. <laughs> yes, it hit one! It hit one! Your turn! Come on! <laughs> right, I'm gonna just do one more to see whether I can hit anything else. Three, two, one. <laughs> Come on! All right, there we have it, the ballista, ladies and gentlemen, and it made it to the end of the video. <laughs> Get in. Oh, I mean, you know, I didn't doubt it for a second. Did you? No. No, we didn't. We didn't doubt it at all, did we? <laughs> anyway, if you enjoyed the video, then be sure to leave it a like and make sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to see any more of the updates on this ballista, any of the review videos, and I'm going to be bringing out some mathy stuff very soon as well. So if, you, if that interests you, then be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you want to know how we got to here, 
then there's absolutely tons of content over on my uh, on my Instagram in, in the form of story highlights. So you can go and binge all of that <laughs> to your heart's content if you want. Thank you very much for watching. Thanks very much for watching till the end of the video. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.